بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The book Islam and God Centricity A Theological Basis for Human Liberation is a transcription of the lectures that were delivered in South London at the Hadri Center a few years ago. It is hoped that a series of these books will come out slowly and gradually. This will soon be followed by part two. This series of talks are looking at Islam from the perspective of the fundamental principle of Islam, and that is Tawheed, and how individuals, through the Islamic practices and the Islamic teachings, are expected to turn to God and very meaningfully, lovingly relate to God and surrender to God, and how every one of the Islamic theological tenets and every one of the Islamic practices are geared towards liberating human beings from their weaknesses and their lack and through God to lead them towards their completion. It talks of Imam Hussein Alayhi, and his grand sacrifice, how it has become so meaningful and substantive because of the involvement of God at every step in Imam Hussein's journey and at every sacrifice and at the falling of every hero in the camp of Hussein ibn Ali. And how Imam Hussein Salamu through his whole ordeal, gained in godliness and proximity to God. So the book is talking about two fundamentals, the human journey and the relation to God in full surrender to God. What this means is that as human beings, when we give ourselves over to God, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes from us our lack and in its place brings completion within our souls. This book, which is written in a very, very easy fashion, is useful for all of us to read and to remind ourselves of those beautiful, lofty, godly teachings of Prophet Muhammad, the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I am pleased to say that a group of enthusiastic French brothers and sisters took it upon themselves to translate this book, Islam and Godcentricity, into French. And inshallah, it will be released this Muharram, especially within the communities of France, Madagascar and Reunion. Inshallah, later on in the year, after Muharram, we will see the part two of this book in English, inshallah, being released in the market. Please do read and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all for the sake of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad and for the sake of the grandson of the blessed Prophet Imam Hussain in whose name these lectures were given. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.